programming the login code. Now we have already uh, created a Facebook login button. We have decided on who will be the administrator and uh, the plan that his success will be stored in a session variable to be recorded to be used later on. Now it's time to write the programming for the login code. This shall be the roadmap. This shall be a roadmap. In our Facebook app, we'll specify the secret key and the app ID. We'll pick these two things from the app that we created. We'll store these two things in our program that we are writing. When the user clicks the login button, the re request will go to the Facebook. This is Facebook. Here it will bring information for whether this particular user has given permissions to this app, to this Facebook app that we have written. Whether the user has given permissions for accessing his profile or not. If the user has given permissions, then Facebook will return you an access token or access key. This access key will reach your program. Of course, the vital thing in this part of the story is this pair. This pair together determines the app that you have created. This pair is sent to the Facebook and whosoever user logs in at that time, he is presented with a dialog which asks confirmation. Once the user confirms, an access token is returned back to the application to the project. Then in the second step, you send that access token back to the Facebook. And then Facebook returns the data of the user who is logged in into your program or your application or your project. This data will contain the email ID of the user. Then you can check whether that email ID matches the hard coded one. Or maybe if you have stored somewhere in database, you can cross check against the database. So this way, the login credentials of the user are actually stored in Facebook. And we have to just compare his email ID or any, we could have compared phone also. Anything that identifies the user uniquely. So that email ID is compared back. And if it matches your list, you say that the user is successfully logged in. Otherwise, you say access denied. Now we'll write code for this and let us see how to do it. I hope I'm pretty clear. I'll just draw once this diagram so that no doubts remain in your mind. Okay, this is your MVC project. First, request goes to Facebook for getting the permissions. Facebook responds with a token if the user says he accepts those permissions, he allows those permissions. Then your project again sends it that the very same token to Facebook and Facebook responds with the user info. This user info can be used to validate